Hello, welcome to Farla Barcelona. Today we're going to explain how to use the big CNC. In this case it's the CNC Step Raptor XSL 3200. That is the big CNC. We're going to need a few tools. First, safety. We're going to need ear puffs, safety protection glasses, of course, the machine, and nails, the control computer software, and we're going to need a driller, screws to fix the material on top of the sacrificial board, and the material. But first, how to switch on the machine. As you can see here, we have emergency stops. It's really important to locate where they are because they will help you stop the machine in case something wrong happens. I recommend to always put my hands on the back meanwhile the machine is working and always stay close to emergency stop or do the pause button of the machine on the computer. First, let's switch on the computer and the machine. We have the button here on the corner. Let's unlock the emergency stop, perfect and then go on to the computer. This is the control software of the machine and first the machine needs to home. Let's home the machine. As you can see, first the machine is gonna move on the Z vertically. You will do it twice. Then the machine will move on the Y to home the Y and then X. Now, let's move the machine. For it, this menu is slightly more complex than the small mini machine. We need to go to Jog Setup and then move. Here you can see the different speeds of movement. Be careful with rapid and only one operator at a time. It means only one touching or using the control interface of the machine. So let's move on X, quite slow, as you can see. So let's go slightly faster. Wow, that's fast. So be careful while using this mode. Let's load the material. Hello, this is a ply boot, standard one, fine, C quality, nine millimeters. It's a quite thin wood, so it's gonna be a fast cut. Let's load it on the machine. Always check that the surface of the machine is completely clean. So let's put the material, and let's fix the material with screws to the sacrificial board. I will just put four screws on the corners. That will be enough to hold the material down. Let's load the end mill on the machine's collet, on the spindle collet. Let's put the dust collector and do X, Y, and Z. For this step, we're going to need several tools. End mill, the collet, the collet chuck, and the specific tools that matches the spindle or that we are using. In this case, they are always next to the machine's computer. So we need to put the collet on the collet chuck. It should click and should not fall. And we're going to pre-attach the collet inside the thread. We're going to take the end mill. We're going to hold it with our fingers until the position that we want to introduce inside the collet and we tighten the collet by hand. Now it's time to tight the collet. Remember, for tightening is an opening move. To open the collet is a closing move movement. Ugh, Hulk mode. Yeah, tighten. So now, what we can do is do the X, Y, and Z without the dust protector and the dust collector, so it's easier to see the end mill. For this step of the final approach to the X, Y position, it's difficult to see from the computer, so we will use the remote. And we have the same, it's a joystick. The good point is this joystick only allows to have sm slow movements. So let's do the origin. And in this step, we only want to set up the X and Y. 
we will use another tool to set up the Z. So this seems okay as my start point. If you want to align with the material, you can always look parallel to the X and parallel to the Y to align the center of the end mill with your material. This seems like a good start position. Now let's move the machine to the center of the zone that we want to cut. Remember to never do this with the end mill touching the material. So now let's do the Z. For it, we will use the Z probe that is always here because it's magnetic. As you can see, it's kind of a button that the end mill will touch to actually find out where the Z is. We need to be really careful and always align the center of the button with the end mill. So please look really well because we will automatize this. It means we'll pick a button and the machine will slowly go down to touch the button. If it never finds the button, it will keep going and will break the end mill and can damage the machine. So be really careful with this, this step. So now that the end mill is exactly aligned with the center of the button, we can go on the computer and let it find out the Z. For it, we go to custom, that is zero finder with length probe. So we double click and the machine will automatically go and touch the button. Once has finished finding the Z, it will, it will go up and we can save the Z probe into its original location. Perfect. We have made X, Y and Z origin. Now it's time to, time to put the dust collector. Is this little piece of metal and plastic and we will hold it with four specific nuts that are here, always on the machine's computer. So we introduce through the hole and we fix with the tools. Oh. So now let's put the pipe connection. This just goes by pressure, as you can see, was a little bit dirty. The check is not jammed. We will clean this later. Okay. Everything seems quite okay. Let's double check everything. What we need? The ear pops and safety glasses. The material is safely fixed. We have the screws, we have the end mill properly attached, we have the dust collector, I have my safety equipment, the file is in the machine, I have made X, Y and Z origin, everything seems fine. And I will launch the file. Let's copy the file from my USB to the machine's computer, it's called this test, okay? And let's load the file. Here we can load the file. Desktop, test, open. And we can preview actually our file. The toolpath of the, the machine is going to follow. Seems perfect. There is no errors on the G-code viewer. On the spindle and feed the overrate, we just click on reset just in case. And we can launch the file. So are we sure that everything is okay? We double check uh, all the parts and we just click on play. So just with a little tool, like a screwdriver or a little cutter knife, I can break the tabs. Hmm, cut it. 
that's okay. What are we missing now? Now it's time to take out the material, take out the screws and clean our mess. <laughs>